Hey everybody, we're doing a quick series here on things that cause digoxin toxicity. The first thing that can cause digoxin toxicity, electrolyte imbalance. The first electrolyte we'll talk about is hypokalemia, or when potassium levels in the blood drop too low. This is the most common electrolyte imbalance, causing DIG toxicity. In fact, although a normal potassium level is somewhere between 3.5 to 5 or 5.2, we really want to ensure patients on DIG are staying higher end of that range, probably 4 to 5 MEQs per liter. Next is hypomagnesemia, or low mag. As a side note, remember mag and potassium are kind of like buddies or partners. If the potassium is low, you gotta check the magnesium. It plays a role in potassium and calcium transport. So if the magnesium is deficient, this can cause changes in potassium level as well. We want that mag level to be greater than two. Finally, we have hypercalcemia, or when the serum calcium is high. Remember, it's that elevation of calcium inside the cell that results in DIG increasing cardiac contractility. We talked about how digoxin works on the sodium, potassium, and calcium already. If you want a review of that, check out the prior video in the show notes below. Ultimately though, hypercalcemia is going to predispose a patient to digoxin toxicity. So now that we know which electrolytes can increase the risk of digoxin toxicity, looking at who is likely to have these is important. That's the Reinhardt's Rundown. We'll see you all next week.